there. Today's video has a little bit of a twist on one of my favorite techniques, which is using texture paste through a mask. So I'll show you that. We're going to be using the wavy mask. It's one of the that special special touch masks. I'm using the Melbourne die for the sentiment. The focal element comes from the Sydney from the Australian collection. And the actual sentiment comes from the Sincere Sentiments, which is an A5 stamp set from Creative Expressions. And we're also going to be using a couple more items. I have the uh, texture paste. This is the gold pearl. And we're going to be using the clear microbeads as well. Okay, so let me set those out of the way. So I'm going to do a bit of texturing through a mask to begin with. So I'm going to bring in my wavy mask. I've got a piece of vintage gold card here. I'm going to tape this into place. Now I personally think the easiest way to do this is to tape all four sides. So that is what I'm going to do. I've got some removable tape. I like to tape opposite sides. Just getting the edge of that tape this side down too. Try not to get it into the actual pattern there. Just catching the edge of that. So that's taped down very well now. So using the texture paste. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful, just a really soft kind of iridescent gold color to it. It's not one of the sparkle texture paste. It's just a um, a pearl texture paste. It's quite pretty though. I'm going to use a palette knife and just pick up a little bit of this and we're going to just spread it down the length of our mask. Just dragging it along. Get all those little corners. And I've got a bit extra here. We'll try and spread that up this direction. and get all of those little corners. And then we can take the excess off and back into our container. There we go. Pick that up. We don't want to waste it. Okay. Use a bit of a tissue on that. Okay. So next, I'm going to remove the tape. Just get the edge of that. Peel it away. Pop that down there. And I remove it in opposite directions as well. Let's take this one off. Right as I get to the edge of that, you want to hold that mask down. Okay. And here you can lift the mask up and see if you've missed any spots and use that last one as sort of a hinge. We can just pull it away from there and peel this piece up itself. There you go. So you can see how I've got a really nice pattern coming through with that texture paste. Now I'm going to give that a second. What I want to do is take this off of my mask and I'm going to use a grime boss for this. We'll clean up around us. Just set that to the side there. Make sure to get all of this off of your mask. You don't want to have it dry on there at all. And if you're at home, you can just tip it into um, your sink and rinse it with your tap and clean it off really nicely. Okay. And let me tidy up. There we go. A little bit of kitchen roll here. Make sure to get it off this back of the mask as well. Okay. That's looking pretty clean there. Clean up all my mess. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is use the microbeads. So we'll bring this over and that will catch them. Because this is still wet, I can very gently pour these over the top of this. There we go. Let's give them a second. Tap 
cap them away. Okay, so you've got really nicely beaded look to your texture paste. I just think that's so gorgeous to add a bit of texture to your card. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one aside. This will have to dry and it will take, I like to leave them overnight to be fair. It'll take a bit of time but I have done one that we are using for the card. Now, I did decide to do the original one with the uh, waves going this direction, and I've changed my mind and decided to have them go this direction, so you get to see a little bit of a difference there. So I've put this onto the top with a little bit of black card. I've actually just used a scoreboard with some uh, white card on the bottom, a little tiny bit of texture. I've got a piece of the uh, black and cream grow grain ribbon. I'm gonna tie a bit of a knot in it, just a loose knot, offset it slightly. There we go. And I'm gonna put that right about there. So we will tape it into place and put the edges onto the back. Sometimes I think a knot is absolutely the perfect thing when a bow is kind of too much. So, and I'll tell you what I will do. I will put a glue dot under that knot and it will stay in place where we want it. There we go. Looks good. Spread that out a little bit. Pop that over to the side. Tape that into place there. Okay. So now I've got the base of the card sorted. We'll put that onto our mat with a little bit of uh, matting and layering. Ah, and to just give you a real quick measurement what this base piece ended up being, it is five and five eighths by seven and an eighth, the finished matted piece here. Pop that down. So I've picked up a little bit of the black and gold in my matting just to tie it all in. Now I've cut two of the Sydney die. I've got one in the vintage gold card that we use for the base and one in black. And I'm just gonna offset them just ever so slightly as a shadow. So I'm gonna use a little bit of spray glue on the back of this gold one. Pop that down just ever so slightly offset from the black. Just gives it a really pretty feature without being too overwhelming. So you can see how pretty that looks. I've got a piece of uh, mounting foam we'll put on the back. And since I've got those beads there, I'm gonna add some glue just to make sure it stays good and stuck. Your beads are gonna act just like your um, glitter for things like that. So you definitely wanna add a little more glue. I'm gonna put that into place about like that. Give it a second to hold up. There we go. I've stamped a sentiment and I've cut it out with the center die in the set. And I'm just gonna take a gold paint pen and go around the edge with it ever so slightly. Just picking up a little bit of a nice pretty gold edge to it. Just work it back and forth. And keep turning it a little bit. Yeah. Makes a nice faux mat. So it looks like you've got another piece of card in here. There we go. Okay. And I've used one of the slightly larger um, circles that's in the Melbourne set. And I'm going to just tape this into place. A little bit on the back here. Let's do one more the other direction. There we go. Center that. Beautiful sentiment. Pop that right into the middle of our die cut. Get that nice and straight there. Voila, finish that off. Isn't that a beautiful textured background? And I think this is the kind of card that would work really well for both male and females. So I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. So don't forget, you can use your microbeads with your texture paste and it gives it a lot of extra texture.
Hope you've enjoyed today's video and don't forget to check my blog which is www.partycraft.blogspot.com.